Today I'll be talking about a very interesting innovation in the field of IVF that is called as artificial oocyte activation. It's also popularly called as oocyte activation. What exactly what one means when we say oocyte activation? Well, the oocyte is meant to form an embryo, but to form this embryo, it must activate itself to divide. And how does this activation help? It happens naturally when the sperm enters the oocyte. When the sperm does this, it releases a certain chemical, mainly called as PLZ zeta, a chemical which causes a lot of calcium oscillation within the oocyte and this starts or initiates the entire cascade of fertilization which means the, the chromosomes separate, the chromosomes join, the egg, I mean the egg forms a zygote and multiple cells are formed within the zona pellucida. Well, why do we actually require artificial oocyte activation? Sometimes the sperm is not capable of producing these chemicals. These are specially seen in cases where there is total fertilization failure or there is a gross reduction in the fertility or, or the fertilization rates after doing ICSI. So if you have such a case where there is reduced fertilization rate, then we resort to a process called as artificial oocyte activation. The oocyte or the rather the fertilized oocyte is exposed to certain physical and or chemical methods to form the embryo or the entire process of embryogenesis is activated by these methods. We generally resort to chemical methods with the help of a chemical called as calcium ionophore. And once this calcium ionophore is in the presence of the fertilized oocyte, it causes calcium fluctuation within the oocyte itself. This starts the entire process of fertilization and further embryo division. Well, a lot of people do ask me whether is it harmful to the embryo? Well, touch wood, as of now, no serious defects in the embryos have been formed when exposed to oocyte activation. But what it does is give us a better fertilization rate, a better utilization of the oocytes that we have and a better pregnancy rate. Thank you.